That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? sad things about this is is uh, that this isn't an isolated incident um, the sad thing is is that many in the, the blind community are put into this mindset that they need to be grateful for what they've got if they're mistreated they just accept it and move on because they're getting something we're not entitled folks we don't have a sense of entitlement here what it is is that we are people just as well we bleed red yeah. just a trigger warning for those who are watching the stream out there um recently in the past year i believe it was and jen you may know about this others of you might some of the schools for the blind um there have been um sa situations where uh some of the students in these schools who are blind um have been sexually mistreated yes. there's sexual misconduct there's always cover -ups. There, there are cover-ups and and the thing is, is that many places do not teach people who are blind or otherwise disabled to advocate for themselves because unfortunately it's this unspoken rule in society that we just need to be happy with what we get. There's so much stuff. I, I won't get into all the details, but SSI, for instance, grateful for it. But how many people would be happy living off of 625 an hour full-time job? I was feeling pressured to move up here until I saw how this place was. A place that would probably throw you out like the trash if you didn't always say yes. I am more than trash. I am not trash. That's right. I am an individual with hopes and dreams. I am a father and a brother and a son and yeah. a community member and a friend to people. Amen. Various places. I have a desire to help people. But I can't help people if I'm constantly being broken and I wouldn't allow this place to break me down. Yeah. Right. One hospital visit, and then it took some time to think as to whether or not I wanted to go back to that hospital again. We're that's, here for you, Bob. And I'm here for you all as well. Yeah. And that's why we're out here, folks. We're not out here uh, under the label that they put on us as troublemakers. No. The troublemakers are in those executive offices back there, yeah. not caring about the clients, looking at the clients as high maintenance, yeah. driven clients. Clients who speak up for themselves. Yeah. Clients who know what they want and who know where they're going. Yeah. They are not high maintenance. They are driven. Get the vocabulary right. right. If you got a master's degree, you ought to know better than that for crying out loud. Yeah. And to speak down like they're all simple, like we're not capable of understanding. If you set the bar high, people can reach for that bar, but you just want to throw out the basic services that you get money for. You don't care about the whole picture the blind of all ages, how we contribute to each other at this place. That's right. Ah! 